57.9. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're going to make a uh, ATC for the Grumbacher Art Swap number 57 favorite dessert. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one's an interactive card, and I'm extremely happy with it. And I hope whoever got it is extremely happy with it, too. So we're starting off with our background on the uh, ATC, and I did a couple of different blues. Hey, there's a, a list of ingredients in the description box below. Just click on the word more to see more. And I actually have paint colors listed too. Hit gun, y'all. It is a hit gun rich uh, video. Any hoots. So I got the background painted and dried. And dried some more. And I put a stamp on there. It's in uh, the manganese blue. And it's just basically to add a bit of interest into the background. And I'm going over that with another layer of uh, thin gesso. And I'm you know, it's kind of dry anyways, and I'm going to wipe it off with a paint rag there. Not really wiping it off, but just some, somewhat a little bit. It's hard to explain. Okay, and we're going to heat it for another minute here, and I'm going to show you another close-up so you can see that when it dried, you can see a little bit of that stamping uh, popping through. Okay, oh, I got lucky on that. So anyway, I had this piece of paper. And I wanted to reinforce it, so I glued it onto a piece of scrap uh, cardstock. And it was a scrap piece of paper, too, y'all. So I'm tracing out, uh, I don't know what that shape is called, a laying down oval. Because <laughs> it's going to be a plate, y'all. My dessert needs a plate to sit on. And I decided it's kind of big. Did I trim it down yet? I don't know if I trimmed it down yet. But I end up coming up with different sizes, and I'm like, yeah, that's too big. And in, in the end, my plate's too small and my pie's too big. Just saying, just to give that away, okay? So I'm going around uh, the ink uh, edges. <laughs> I'm going around the outside of the plate with some ink, y'all. I was going to use that fork because, you know, it was a die cut, and it was just already cut, and I was going to paint it silver. And I'm like, no, that's ridiculously big. So I said, well, we'll just paint this white cardstock with the silver paint I already had scrooched out. And because I've got some flatware stamps, I have two or three, four different sets. And this particular one that I used, I have no idea who the maker was. Now, that black thing in the background is a piece of foam to add some cushion because this particular rubber stamp does not have cushion on it. Okay. Okay. Stamped out two, which was a good thing because I lost the first one. I don't know where it went, y'all. I was using the heat gun at some point, and it just blowed away, I guess. It'll turn up one day. Or not. Then uh, trimming that, cutting it out. It's kind of fussy to cut that out. So I can't imagine how hard it would have been with a flimsy piece of paper. I'm so glad, so glad I reinforced it with some cardstock, y'all. And I was trimming between the tines and just plucking out those little pieces. Can you see it? Can you see it? I do have frame issues, uh, you know, in screen issues on parts of this video, especially later. It kind of goes from bad to worse. -er. And uh, lots of this video is sped up. In real time, it took right at an hour and a half, and that does include the drying time because there's multiple parts to this ATC. Sure, I could have painted one way quicker mm -hmm, or drawn one way quicker, probably, maybe, but no. Here again, y'all. I wanted to do a process. Well, I'd been thinking about this for a couple of days, and I thought, I want to make an interactive pie. Because I knew I wanted pie, because I like cherry pie. It was either going to be cherry pie or pecan pie. But I really only like good company. Uh, barbecue pecan pie, y'all, good company down here in Houston. Mmm. You -hmm. never had pecan pie. Mm-mm. Make you slap your mama and her mama and her mama and her mama before. Mm -hmm. 
Just saying. So I have some little slivers of uh, the card left over, and I wanted to reinforce the stem and bump up that part of the the fork because I want to raise it up. Uh, oh, yeah, I want to set it on top on the plate. So I need a little something something back there to um, so it doesn't be all wonky. So it doesn't be all wonky. I I speak good English, y'all. <laughs> Well, you just never know what I'm going to say. So anyway, that reinforced um, piece of paper worked really well because I had this other piece of paper over here. And I thought, well, that looks like a good pie crust if I ever did seed one because I can't really make a pie, y'all. I'm just saying. I don't need no recipes. Don't need no recipes, okay? If my mama could not teach me how to make a pie, can't nobody give me a recipe for no pie. All right? But I can make a hell of a good cake in a cookie. Just saying. All right? Pie's not my forte. I, 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 I like eating them. Cheer pie. So anyway, I have a reference photo. photo? I have a reference photo over there on the computer screen, but y'all can't see it, and I'm not going to show it to you because it probably had copyright on it. And I'm just looking at it because I'm just drawing, drawing out this little piece of pie on my pie crust, y'all. Okay? And as you saw, I did some erasing. And uh, could this have been better? Probably, because this is the first time I ever drew a piece of pie, y'all. <laughs> oh, did I tell you how happy I was with this ATC? It's hard to, you know, these ATCs have been real hard for me to send away. All right, I'm just saying. I hope whoever gets them is just loves them, because, yeah, they're really hard for me to give away. So, yeah, because y'all know I could say all day long I'm going to make me another one just like it or, you know, pretty near like it. But y'all know I probably won't. Probably won't. <sighs> Any whoops. You know, kind of getting a little wavy edge going on there. It doesn't look a whole lot like a pizza pie yet. Just hang in there. Well, if y'all saw the thumbnail, you know, on the video, you know it looks like a pizza pie in the end. So now I'm cutting out some cherries. This is like a half inch uh, circle punch, hole punch, whatever you want to call it. I think it's about half, it's about half inch, y'all. And this is where I start getting off screen. Now I'm going to slice my pie so I can separate the actual top crust from the in innards of the, of the pie. Okay? Hey, it's just the way I, I funk to do it. All right? So there you go. And those, all them little cherries, I'm going to have to glue them together. And I'm going to use my favorite clay, Aileen's original, <laughs> and a brush. And um, what did I say? Oh, I said it took, took me like an, an hour and a half to make this because it is kind of a long process. And there is some considerable drying times in there, y'all. And I've got the video whittled down to just over 21 minutes. And that does include uh, like 8 or 9, 10 photos in the photo montage guy okay? because i was just so thick and heavy with it y'all it's been really looking good it's not at kfc no it's pie cheer pie i made it myself <laughs> best pie ever made i think <laughs> so i've got my little cherries all glued together and i'm fitting them in my crust because they're the filling you know it's the filling in the pie and i know i'm off screen so there you go mm-hmm just saying. But I couldn't really cut it out because then y'all wouldn't be able to see much of nothing. You saw nothing. So I'm just trimming up a little bit trying to make it look a little bit more realistic. Because, you know, I'm trying to go for a little realistic, slightly-ish. And I'm trimming down some uh, scrap cherries over there because I want to have them like hanging out and off the edge of the crust kind of thing. Okay? In a little bit, I'm going to get out some Prisma pencils and do some color and pencil work on here. This got a lot of mixed media stuffs in there. Oh, that shadow that I added underneath the plate that was done with a uh, watercolor pencil, and then the uh, the inside of the plate doohickey, you know, the little rim thing was done with the uh, charcoal pencil. So this is real mixed media, y'all. I got all kinds of stuff going on. So now I'm coloring in, kind of going around for that uh, the little divot, you know, when it comes up and the crust curls up, you know, with those pretty little finger pink marks. Mm -hmm. This, <laughs> hey, all right. It's not a real pie, y'all. But I did the best as I could. 
Next time it might could be better. So I don't know. So I got a couple of different, I got actually three different brown pencils, but I think I only used two of them. And it's listed in the ingredients below in the description box, y'all. Hey, did you know there's a tip jar there too? <laughs> Just let me throw that out there. Because I haven't thrown that out there in a real long time. So now I'm putting a little light wash, light, light, light wash of glue on the top. Oh no, that's the pie. That's where I'm putting my filling. Oh my bad. I'm trying to get ahead of y'all. Because I do put a little, little light, light, light glue on the top in a little while. But you're just going to have to wait for it. Because it's probably about five, ten minutes away. Well, maybe not ten minutes, but it's a little bit away. And, uh, oh look, it's starting to look like a pie now, y'all. Uh huh. Oh, I got to get some little juice going on because y'all know uh, cherry pies are really shiny. They got that whole shiny, you know, juicy looking look about them. So I got out some of my, my Dilusions Red and put, put a little bit of that in the triple thick and put way too much color in there. Because I was trying to get just, you know, like a, a, like a glaze of a wash. It ended up being pretty good, y'all. I likes it. Okay, so now I'm just brushing over over my filling, just the filling, the cherries in the pie now with the uh, triple thick mixed with a little bit of uh, red paint. Mm -hmm. oh, and it's, the humidity is kind of dry today, so that's why everything dried pretty pretty fast, pretty well, I think. Can you see how shimmer and shiny that was? Mm -hmm. Now what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to glue the back on the ATC. Uh, you know, I do a computer printed out back and all that good kind of stuff and we're just going to glue that on the uh, background of the ATC. Besides, I like, you know, pretty firm cards and I do like cardstock. Oh, we're going to glue our plate on. Oh, y'all. See that shadow? <laughs> it looks kind of funny now, doesn't it? It's going to look pretty good in a minute. See? Look how nice that looks. Darn near looks like a real shadow. Only the shadow knows. No, I'm too, way too young for that show. I'm just saying. So my card's just a little warpy and that's okay. I can straighten it out here and there. We're just going to round them little corners off. Just a little bit around. I don't know. That's just a real ex inexpensive corner rounder from the Hobby Lobby. And I don't know the name of it. And I don't think I put it in the list of ingredients below. Now, I knew from the get-go I was making this interactive, all right? I said that from the get-go, but I forgot some of my supplies, so I'm going to have to go run and get them in a minute. Oh, that's sticking up just a little too high on the plate, so I'm peeling back a little bit of my uh, reinforcement and a little bump up, you know, instead of the pop dot, I glued cardstock on there. And that's pretty good. And then I thought, oh, shoot, I got a little bobo on my background, so I'm trying to fix that so it's not near as noticeable. I don't know if you can see it on your screen or not, but I could see it in real life, so. And now it's way more butter. Just saying, way more butter. So now we're going to glue our fork on, and this is where I'm like, oh no, I don't have my magnet. Where's my magnet? I'm going to use this teeny tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny magnet. Because I got them online. My husband found them, and they so not the right size. They're as thin as I want, but they is just tiny, y'all. And they're real, they're rare earth, so they're real magnets, and they're just real hard to get apart. So I'm putting that on the back of the fork, and I'm going to put some more glue on the fork, because yeah, you need some more, need some more glue, y'all. And uh, I'm going to stick that onto the plate. Now, in hindsight, I might have should have put that fork on the front part of the plate, but, you know, it, it is where it is now, because, look, now it's glued down. And I'm going to uh, clean up a little bit of the glue and make sure my tines on the fork are separated, so I'm going to take my little pokey tool and run them between the tines. They look pretty good from here, and taking off some of that excess glue. Not that you can necessarily see it, but still... I'm not one to like big blobs of glue if I can avoid them. If I can avoid them. That'd be if is an operative word. So now I want to put a little bit of shiny on the plate because, you know, it's an empty plate now, y'all. 
and, and we ate a piece of pie. We want it to look like we ate a piece of pie. I had these little bitty bits of the, the pie crust over there that I trimmed off on purpose because I wanted some crumbs to put on the plate. Now, I can't hardly see them on my screen, but in the photo montage, you can see them. Okay, maybe you can see them on your screen because I'm sure you got a full screen. I just got like a little two by three screen that I'm editing in. Okay, so I'm just put, putting little crumbs, little pie crust crumbs. There, see? Can you see them? Uh huh, uh huh. Can you see them? Okay, now I'm going to put some of uh, the cherry juice step on there. And I am way off screen for this one. And uh, that's just the way it is. Sorry, y'all. So I sped it up really fast so I could get back in frame. Okay, so now I'm put. I put got some of my leftover red. Uh, what is that? Triple thick and paint on there, and then I went over the top of it with some more triple thick. And I thought, well, you know, I might ought to put another coat on these cherries, on the cherry filling. So I did that. I think I put a little more on there. Hmm. Oh, I gotta put the gotta put the mag. I'm getting ready to put the magnet on on the fork. It goes on this side of the fork, and I'm gonna put some. Um, E6000 on the back or on the back of that magnet that's on the fork now, y'all. Oh, use a nutcracker to get your lids off if you can't hardly get them off. Just saying. So, anyways, I'm using a uh, quilting pen to uh, put my E6000 on the back of that little teeny tiny magnet, and I'm going to lay my pie on there, just probably about where I want it. That's yeah, probably probably about where I want it, and uh, I'm going to get my pokey tool. I cleaned the glue off of it and I'm going to wiggle it under the point underneath that magnet so I can pull it away from the fork, you know. Now the fork is magnetized, y'all. <laughs> and uh, because the back of that piece of pie doesn't look very appetizing at all, I thought, well, I'm just going to put some red paper on the back, y'all, because I just had this red paper over here, so I'm just going to put it on there. And that's what better way to secure that little teeny tiny magnet. So that's what it is. And trimming it around. Trimming it around. And there we go. Looks pretty good. Let's add some highlights to some of them cherries now. Okay. Doesn't look quite so good there, but it'll get a better. It'll get a better, y'all. Now I'm putting a real light coat of glue on that pie crust on, on the top because the picture I was looking at had sugar sprinkled on it. Okay. Now I'm not going to sprinkle sugar on here, but I am going to use some embossing powder. I used just a teeny, teeny, teeny bunch, uh, bit of um, holographic, and then I had these this fake snow I've had since uh, the 1900s, and sprinkled some of that on there. And now here's just a little, teeny, teeny, tiny bit of white embossing powder. Okay, now don't heat that up to emboss it because that's not the point. I want I want it to look like white, and I want it to look like sugars, right? All right, that's what I want. I want it to look like sugars, not snow, but sugars. So I'm dusting off the the cherry pie filling there. It turned look like a piece of pie now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now don't worry. I put uh, some uh, a layer of the triple thick, a very watered down thin coat of the triple thick on top of the uh, the glitter and embossing powder, so that it won't come off and rub off. I don't I don't want it to do that because that's messy and just. That's just wrong, y'all. So now the pie is sticking to my fork. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty good. Now, I did do a little something, something that I forgot to turn the camera on. Look at that. Looks like somebody ate that pie, doesn't it? Huh. Imagine that. So, because uh, I'm like, I need just a little shadow underneath that top crust. So I got out uh, some some black acrylic paint and thinned it down and just ran a little little line underneath there. I probably would have done better off using a, a, a Pigma pen or something, whatever they're called. So I just went around the outside of the card with uh, vermilion red ink. And now I'm going around that with a little black. And we're just about to kind of call this done. And we're going to have our photo montage. Oh. <laughs> just one bottle of heat gun there, y'all. Look at that. Looks like somebody ate something off that plate, doesn't it? Where'd that pie go? Somebody ate that pie. Mm -hmm. I know I didn't have to explain it to you, but there it is. And I did. I put another little coat of uh, the triple thick on there. 
Chuck looks all good and juicy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That pie will not come off that plate because it's a magnetized fork. It is stuck on there. But you can pull it off. It come off pretty easy if you just, you know, lift it up. Look at that. Makes me happy. Photo montage. <laughs> oh, people. Fun. Fun stuff. For me, any hate. I hope you enjoyed washing. Washing? I hope you enjoyed watching the video and that it has inspired you to make some art and to have fun while you're doing it, for goodness sakes. Look at that. Somebody ate that pie. <laughs> That's the best dessert. Favorite desserts in my belly. Just saying. Just saying, y'all. Just saying. So anyway, and there's the back of the piece of pie with the red on it. And you can see the little dot where the magnet is. Okay? Okay. Gosh, these swaps are fun. I appreciate each and every one of you, your valuable time, your kind comments, your thumbs up, your shares, your just watching. I so appreciate it. Disclaimer screen. <laughs> Thanks for watching and happy earning, y'all.